it's Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast episode. I don't know, I didn't look you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I can look really quick, but I didn't look, I have no idea what it is. So episode, I think like 30, 35 maybe? It's in the title. <laughs> um, this is a crochet and knitting podcast, sometimes a little sewing, but mostly just crochet and knitting. And you can find me anywhere on the internet, pretty much at The Proper Pineapple. All of the links to the places you can find me, you can find in the description box. Um, so much, let's see, gosh. How much has been going on here, you guys? You know, lockdown's been happening. <laughs> Actually, there's no lockdown where I am, but a lot of places are locked down. A lot of places are shut down. Grocery shopping's getting a little bit better where I'm from. You know, it's just a crazy time right now we're living in. Um, the weather here has been ridiculous. It's been in the 80s every day. It's hot, it's sweaty, Ugh, it's the worst. So, but pretty much I just sit in my house with the air conditioner around because what else do you do in 80 degree weather in the middle of March? So, um, that's pretty much all my life stuff. I don't really have anything else super interesting to talk about there. So I guess we'll just get on to the projects I'm working on. And then I do have some other news at the end. Um, I do have a finished project. <laughs> it is a pot holder. Oh, look at this crazy pot holder I made, you guys. So this is made with some crafter's cotton from Hobby Lobby. My daughter picked it out. It's super colorful, right? Let me get that up there. And it is done in a Tunisian stitch. It was so fun to do, you guys. It's kind of interesting how you do it. Um, it is free. I found it on Pinterest, and it linked me back to a Ravelry page with all the instructions in it. But it's so much fun to do, and they make these perfect little circle pot holders or dishcloths or whatever, because it is cotton, so you can use it for whatever. We call them pot holders, but we use some for dishcloths, some for pot holders. But that's my one finished object for today. <laughs> that's so funny. Boop, throw that over there because now it can actually get used. I've been waiting. Um, one thing I should tell you if you hear a noise, I do have like air conditioners and stuff running because it is hot, so sorry about that. All right, first project, which is the project I've been working on the most. I guess I'll do my knitting first and then we'll go from there. The project I've been working on the most is my uh, changing staircase shawl. I'm looking at all my info here. Sorry, guys, I don't like to look down when I'm on camera, but I'm but. It's written by Tristan Milani of Dragon Horde Yarn, and I am using um, Cat. Who am I using? Shirsty Cat. That's who I'm using. Shirsty Cat in her beautiful color called Purple Rain on my Raspberry Beret. Look at this amazing yarn. Hopefully, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, it's her fingering weight, and I absolutely love it. And I am making this shawl as a prayer shawl for somebody at my church so here it is I'm almost done I have two more sections to go you guys but it's kind of all bunched up on the needles but isn't this so pretty so it'll be a big triangle when it's done and not bunched on the needles but there's basically let's see if it'll show there are stockinette sections and then lace sections and when I block this that lace is gonna open up really wide and be beautiful Oh my gosh, this purple is so lovely, isn't it? And then I'm, my needles are all twisted. Oh my goodness. So it's all bunched on my needle on the long end right now. It's so pretty. And of course her favorite color is purple. So I think she's really going to love this. I am using my Licky, Likey, whatever you say, you guys, I always say it wrong. Interchangeable driftwood ne needle set. And like I said, it's going great. This is a free pattern. All the patterns I talk about, you can find over on my Ravelry page um, under projects I'm working on. So if you're looking for those, you can just head right over there. So hopefully I will have this done here in a day or so because I just have two sections left to do. Um, and they're only 10 rows a piece, so just 20 rows. Come on guys, I can do 20 rows, right? Maybe, maybe we just need to buckle down. You just buckle down and do 20 rows. If you hear any weird background noise, it's my children. I don't know what's in what bag anymore. <laughs> is this my other knitting project I was looking for? I don't think it is. That is that. Oh my goodness. Which one is it? It's this one. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm keeping it in this little bag from, um, gosh, I'm so sorry, from Home Ridge or Home Fire Ridge. You guys, I am all discombobulated today. <sighs> 
Take a moment, Holly. Calm down. There we go. Home Fire Ridge. She sent me this for Christmas and I adore it. It is my favorite. It's this adorable little bag. Her stuff is the best. You can find her over on Instagram and then she has a link right to her shop from there if she has bags in it. So, so cute. She does amazing stuff. And this next project, I actually have a photo for it. It is the Shifting Stripes Shawl by Red Heart. I don't know if they have a designer listed on this. They don't. But it was designed for this yarn. So here's the picture. If it'll focus. Let's see. Hopefully it will. There it is. Shifting Stripe Shawl. And Hirschner's got a hold of me. They sent me this yarn because they knew I liked to work with fingering. And every time I look in this bag, I have a heart attack. Look at this. Look at this ball of mess. <laughs> but it's the yarn. And I will talk about that here in two seconds. Ah. Oh, it's like a hot mess tangle here. I'm so sorry, guys. Every time I look in the bag, it looks like that. I've got to figure out a different way to store this yarn because I'm going to talk about the yarn here. Okay, shake it out. So here is the progress I have on it. Tails are a problem too. So let me get the tails. Okay, that yarn needs to be spun over that way. Okay, I think I've got it now, you guys. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, well, here it is. I don't know if this, that's actually the wrong side. You guys, this podcast is a hot mess. <laughs> a hot mess, you guys. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so here it is. Uh, this is, this is, will be the top. So that will be the bottom as you go. And basically it utilizes short rows so that you have these tiny stripes on one side and bigger, thicker stripes on this side. That was totally, this is also a free pattern. That was totally new to me. I'm a new knitter and I had never done short rows. So, um, so I watched a couple YouTube videos and I learned how to do like the wrap and turn. And I love it. It's a fun project to work on. The yarn, like I said, they sent me was these two cakes of It's a Wrap Rainbow. These are the, <coughs> sorry, a little piece of dust or something. These are the colors that it was designed in. This one is, I want to say Whisper and then this one will be Foggy. I absolutely love it. Like I said, you guys know that I'm more of a bright color kind of person, but when I got this in the mail, I was like, you know what? I need a nice neutral shawl like this. I think it's going to be great. I'm really hoping to get working on this as soon as I'm done finished with my uh, prayer shawl I'm making because I really want to get this one done. I love it. So let me set that over here. I believe that is all the knitting I've been working on. Crochet, 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 crochet. Okay. That's all the knitting I've been working on. I did do like, I think two rows on my birds of a feather, but that's not really worth pulling out and looking at right now. So we'll save that for another time. This next project. Oh, that was in a project bag I made with these beautiful cats and pumpkins. I love it so much. This next project, let me find it. I found it. I can never say it correct. It's like Kurska. Kreska. Let me see. What's the name on it here? Kurska. K R U S K A. It's cute. By Lena Fedotova. I can never say that correctly. Oh, my daughter just came in. Shh, honey. <laughs> Silly kid. It's in a bag by uh, Heavenly Textiles with these beautiful campers on it. So adorable. What are you doing, princess? No. Go on. You can't do that right now. I'm sorry, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, kids. Anyways, I am using yarn that I got like forever ago in one of the very first knit crates I ever got. I actually had gotten the brown. Sorry for the loud noise of shutting the door. I had gotten the brown. Why is this such a hot mess? Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm having a heart attack. I got the brown and I didn't like the brown. But the good thing about getting knit crates is somebody else got the purple and didn't like the purple. So we switched. I sent them my brown and they sent me their purple. So it's this beautiful sparkly purple. No, well, it's not going to focus very well on it because the lighting is not the best today. But it's a really beautiful yarn. I love it. It is wool. And it, this is the Kurska is a cowl, a crocheted cowl. Oh my gosh, let me hold it up so you guys can get the stitch definition. There we go. Look at that. It's really cool stitch you use. It's a little tricky at first. I'll be honest, you guys. Let that focus. At first I was like, what? What a crazy stitch is this? But after you learn it, it's totally good. And look, I got a little camper 
stitch marker to go with my camper bag. So cute. So I am almost done with one skein of yarn on this and then I'll put the second one on there. It'll be a big, thick, beautiful cowl that I don't need whilst in Texas. But when I go back home and visit the family and stuff like that, I will need it. I am using my Furls candy shop hook. Bella. Okay, sorry about that. All right, I just have a couple more. So this next project I am working on is called, I want to say Raspberry Crescent. Raspberry Croissant. I'm sorry. I said it wrong. I always say Crescent. It's Raspberry Croissant Shawl. And it is so pretty. You guys know I'm making, this one is also a prayer shawl I'm working on for somebody. Oh, my hook is tangled in my yarn cake. And this one was a beautiful yarn cake by Stitch Together Studios, which there's not any. And my wonderful friend Cindy Marsh sent it to me. I'm almost done with it right now. See, like it's falling apart, but I'm on to the light purples to the dark purple. I am using my hook by uh, Touche Crochet, and this is the D. I think this is a 3.25 hook. I would have to look specifically, but I know on my project page it tells me there. But, oh, I got it hooked again, you guys. My goodness. I'm so klutzy. The bag I have it in is, it's backwards, there we go, is by Chasing Acorns. I love her bags. I have a whole bunch of them. And I finally made it to the purple in this. So it starts here. It starts just this, like a little triangle, like a triangle crescent-y kind of thing. And you just keep building and going. And you see this, oh, this ch color changing cake. So it started in the light pink. And it got a little darker and a little darker, a little darker, and then it turned to purple. Oh, this is so pretty. I really kind of want to keep this, but of course I'm making it for somebody, so I'm going to let this one go. But I love this. This is also a free pattern, so you could totally get this and make this. I love it so much. It's so, it's so simple. You're almost like, why did I ever think of that? But then it's just so much fun to do. You just have so much fun doing this. I like get excited when I get to another one of these lines. I add another line on. You can see I just start added a line down here just recently and I'm super excited to add more. It's so much fun. I'm also hoping to have this one done very, very soon. Okay. Woo. Sorry, chitter chattering a lot. Okay, this one is called, um, I'm looking at my thing, sorry. It is the Written in the Stars by Rachi, Ra Rachi, I don't know, Rachi New Designs. It is in my lumberjack bag that I made with the little wood grain on the inside. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so the yarn I am using is Malabrigo Sock. This is their Frank Ochre and this is their Disfrizz, Disfrazz colorway. I love it so much together. I am also using one of my Touche Crochet hooks. This is the F, so this is a 375. I do know that much. And let me show you how much of it I have done. Okay, so I have a lot of tails because I chose not to carry my yarn up the side. Her, I will tell you that much in the pattern when you purchase it, it will tell you how to carry your yarn up the side. I chose not to because I didn't want to. I wanted to have like, anyways, I wanted it to look a certain way. So I have all these tails that you will not have. So you start down here and you just build and build and build and keep going around. So that's it. This is what I've got so far. I'm really looking forward to working on this one again soon. This lace is so pretty. When it's going to get blocked and it's all big, it's so pretty. And I love the Frank Ochre colorway so, so much. I almost wish that I had these two skeins again and I made it again and swapped them. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Sorry. One of my kids are playing with their toys. Sorry, guys. Anyways, um, I almost swapped or wish I could swap this Frank Ochre with the Disfrizze because I feel like maybe the solid color in the lace would have gave the lace more definition and then I would have got that cool sparkle here. But I love it this way too. So I don't know. Maybe I'll make another one of these again because I do love it. And this yarn is such a heavenly yarn to work with. So soft and so pretty. That's that project. You guys, I am just like flying through this podcast, aren't I? Oh, I got like so much I want to talk about, so much to do. And I only have a little bit of time to do it because I'm a mom and I've got stuff going on. So I do have a new cast on and I'm super excited about it. So you guys know forever ago, I bought this. 
boop de boop These little sheep, sheep sheets, little um, stone wash and river washed minis. And there were 50 in this box. Yes, 50. And as you can see, some are taken out because I've already started a project. So I found the perfect project, you guys. It is called Just Feel Festive. It's called Just Feel Festive. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. This is the picture. Let me see, you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my phone, on the screen, maybe. Let me turn down my brightness, maybe. I've heard if you do that, you can see the screen better. Let me see. Can you guys see that better? It's going to focus on me or the screen. I'll go like this. There we go. You can see, there it is. Isn't that cute? I'll just kind of like drag that over. So pretty. Now, the thing is, is Herschel. Hey, Bella, no. Sorry, my dog, you guys. Herschel is made with, I believe, DK weight yarn. Were, uh, yeah, well, it, they used, I, yes, fingering, they, she uses fingering weight yarn held double and, um, or DK weight is what she recommends. And it's just a scrappy, like, granny wrap, and I loved it so much. Well, I had all of this sport, it's basically a sport weight, and I loved it. I'm using this, uh, Yarnology 3.75 hook I have. Sorry, I'm waiting for, there we go, they just shut the door. So loud in a camera. And basically, each mini is giving me three stripes. I'm super excited about this. I have a couple of stripes done. So I started here in this beautiful pinky color that I adore, and I worked myself to the blue, the green, a cream, and then an orange. And I'm just going to use all 50 colors in this and just make one big wrap. It's, um, like I said, it's sport weight, so it's a little tinier, and I love it. It's gonna be so pretty, isn't it, you guys? I love the whole idea of the granny wrap. So, so much fun. Oh, and this is also in a bag from, did you see Stitches his Tails? He had to be in the video too, you guys. It's in a bag from Chasing Acorns. It's my unicorn bag. I love it so much. It's stitchy. <laughs> okay, one second, let me get my cat down. Okay, sorry about that. My kitty cat was climbing all over me. But, so that is my new cast on, and those are the only things I'm working on right now. I am hoping to get working on more projects. I actually have a couple of designs that I really want to work on that I'm super excited about. But I do have some stuff to share with you guys, some stash acquisitions, and some gifts from my wonderful viewers like you guys. First off, gosh, forever ago, you guys, I keep forgetting at least two podcasts ago, I went to a local yarn store here in, in Texas, and I bought some yarn, and I bought a needle, actually. And I keep forgetting to share her with you guys. So the needle is by Chagu, or Ch Chagu, Ch Chagu, Chagu, I don't know, anyways. And it is for making, you guys remember I made that knitted cowl, and I loved it, but I wanted to make it a little smaller, so I got a smaller needle for that. That's what that was for, so I keep forgetting, because it's been in this, but anyways. And then, forever ago, I bought this pattern, this knitted pattern called um, summer camp and I just have not had the right yarn to make with it but I went to the store and I found this new to me dyer called long dog yarn let me see if I could show you the name tag here get that up there focus come on camera focus try one more time here there we go long dog yarn and I fell in love with her color palette so I picked up two skeins to make it with, and I picked up these two skeins. <laughs> so this one's obviously just a really pretty purple, just a really pretty purple. And this one is, oh, and that is called, I'm sorry, that's rude of me, Royal, very Royal. <laughs> so my son keeps making this weird noise. Oh, children, you guys. Okay, and then this one's called New Growth, and it has got this like green, couple of different greens in there some purples and I just think the two of them see if you hold them together aren't they gonna make the perfect like contrasty shawl together oh that's my kitty cat and whilst I was there my super sweet husband mr. pineapple was like oh well this skein is totally you Holly and I was like it totally is me so this is hers this is called dark dimension oh my gosh so pretty and he was like well you need a skein to go with it so we got this one and this is her quick fling. And I don't know what I'm gonna make with these two. 
but it'll make something beautiful. So I got, and like I said, this was a while ago, you guys, that I bought these. So pretty, long dog yarn. I've never heard of her before, but I came to Texas and I found all these beautiful skeins of yarn that I can't wait to make into something stunning. So now that I finally showed you, I could actually like put them away and do something with them. Now, okay, so I gotta grab something. It's gonna be a little noisy for a quick second. I have two more things to show you I got in the mail and then I'm going to talk a little bit about some stuff coming up in the channel um, So you guys know my friend Becky sent me a package of some stuff for a giveaway And she told me I could keep some stuff and I kept a case. Well, there was something else I decided to keep too and I know I'm a hoarder, but I just couldn't help it because she was so sweet and she said that She wanted me to have them for my birthday and stuff. So I'm super excited to get to keep them it's these it is seven of the Yarnology crochet hooks that they do not make anymore. So I got a 12 millimeter, uh, nine millimeter, what is this one? 6.5, they're not in order here you guys, sorry. This one's an eight millimeter, I couldn't read that. I need to get my glasses checked you guys. This one doesn't have a size written on it at all. So this one, I'm just gonna guess what millimeter that is. And this one's a seven millimeter and then another 3.75 you guys know i used to love these hooks and they stopped making them and she was so sweet she found some and she sent them to me and i love them so very much i love them so much they're so fun to work with and they're so colorful look at all the pretty colors thank you so much becky you're such a sweetheart and then i did get i just got today and i was so excited let me get the box up here Ugh. I got a box in the mail from my friend Cindy Marsh. Okay, you guys, you know I love Cindy. She's from New York. She's one of my followers. She comes and sees me every year at the Michigan Fiber Festival, and I just adore her. And last year she brought me these those cakes, the stitched uh, stitch together studio by Nicole, and I'm making a beautiful prayer shawl out of it. And I was like, oh, I really want these. Well. Apparently that company went out of business. Well, she sent me as an early birthday present some wonderful little yarn. But first, I wanna show you her information because she runs Crochet Creations, etc. So first I'm gonna put it like this so that it'll focus. And I might have to leave it that way because it's kind of tall, but I will hold it up. It's Crochet Creations. There we go. So you can get her information if you wanna get a hold of her. She is the sweetest lady in the entire world. Look at this cute card she sent me. And then she sent me some cakes of yarn that she found on Hobie. H-O-B-B? One B, two Bs? I'm trying to find the little bag that it came in. Hobie, two Ys, I know that at the end. That is almost the same, and I'm so excited, you guys. So excited. I can't wait to show you these colors. Okay, so this first one, oh, is it just called Color 27? When, let me just check one quick thing, you guys. It is. They don't have names. Oh, that is so sad because it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. So this, these are Cotton King's Twirls Deluxe. And this first one is color 27. Oh, my gosh. Look at that blue, you guys. You know, I'm not a blue girl. I'm a pink girl. But this blue is winning me over. So pretty. This is going to make a stunning shawl for somebody. It starts with a beautiful like light purpley and then goes to this beautiful like royal navy kind of so so pretty so that's one and then she sent me this one she sent me a couple of them. this is color 18 this one is so I know about like eight to nine different people that would love this a beautiful pastel pink that goes all the way out to this beautiful bubblegummy pink these are all the cotton kings twirl Deluxe. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. These are all the same. They are a fingering weight. They are, I'm looking for the yardage here, you guys. Um, 1,093 yards. That's a lot of yards. It's going to make a beautiful shawl. Okay, and these last two are my absolute favorites. They are simply to die for. Okay, this, la this one here is color number two. Look at this, you guys. Is this way better? Yes. This dark, dark magenta to white. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Simply beautiful. Oh, I love it. Let me get that up close. You guys gotta see that. Look at that. This is gonna be stunning. I don't know with this one if I will pull from the center. So if I make a triangle, it would go from dark to light or if I wanna go from light to dark, I don't know. But 
this one is stunning and this last one I'm gonna be honest I might have to keep and make myself a shawl you guys it's color 31 and you'll see why as soon as I show it ready ah, it's like a pastel rainbow I was actually looking at this one online Cindy and I was like oh, I gotta get that I was gonna order look guys ready? like a light purple out to like a pinky kind of a uh, corally color so so pretty so I got those four so at least three of them are gonna be made into prayer shawls we'll see <laughs> they're so pretty um, that is all I have to share with you today as far as projects and things that I've gotten in the mail um, oh stitchy you want to be in the video now he's looking out the window guys he don't want to be in my video anyways I do have some information so we did just start a new thing on the channel called channel memberships there's a whole video about it um, if you want more information all you have to do is hit the little join button or use the link down in the description box that says to join um, and it will tell you all the information and price and all that and if you become a member uh, along with like badges and some special emojis to use on our weekly lives here on YouTube you will get access to a Facebook group that is for members only where I will be hosting more lives and um, doing more giveaways I'll still be doing everything I do here on this channel that's not changing I will just be doing more over in that group and the reason I bring that up in this video is because we are getting dangerously close to April and April is my birthday month that's why Cindy sent me all those cakes and that's why I got all these pretty hooks because my birthday is coming up and you guys know I love my birthday and I am going to be having quite a nice giveaway going on here on the proper pineapple but I will be having more giveaways too over on the pineapple patch on Facebook which is the special group that only the members of my channel the ones that pay to be a member not anybody else will get to be a part of too so if you do become a member you will have you can enter all the giveaways here on the YouTube channel and all the giveaways in the Facebook group so you know just wanted to put that out there for you guys so my birthday is coming up um, I do think I want to do a crochet along soon what would you guys like to do would you like to do a summer top crochet along or a shawl crochet along I know we've done a shawl crochet along so you guys vote down below let me know I'm kind of leaning toward maybe a summer top I have a really pretty top in mind that will look really beautiful in cotton maybe pretty cotton at Cindy Mart no I'm just kidding those are for prayer shawls <laughs> just joking um, but yeah vote down below let me know if you guys want to do a crochet along uh, it either a summer top or a shawl and I'll let you know and as always stay tuned because every Thursday at 10 o'clock central time which is where I'm at I will be doing a live and did I say every Thursday I did say every Thursday maybe I said every Thursday it's a possibility and like I said stay tuned for April because it's my birthday month and there will be giveaways and I'm super excited and you all stay safe and be healthy out there bye y'all